you guys get stuck between a rock and a hard place. We get stuck between a rock and a hard place. All the all the politics and everything else that is going all on trucking is going to be That's just what it all is. That's what we want to talk about. We need all the police and all the negative things. Step back, George, and make it a shot of you. Step back over here so we can hear it, George. Okay. When? Yes, we've been protesting because one of the things is that under Article 8 of the Blackfeet Constitution that uh, has been violated, under Article 8, Section 3, Civil Liberties, all members of the tribe may enjoy without hindrance freedom of worship, conscience, speech, press, assembly, and association. And these are the rights that have been violated. Now there's a lot of things that uh, Willie Sharp, Shannon Dozier, uh, Earl O'Person, Sassy Running Crane, and Forcing the Cap Watch have did. And we protested all the wrongdoing. They have people thrown in jail innocently. Uh, ladies were assaulted on, of their uh, security staff and uh, people were being fired and they're still being fired every day and there was there the truth of the matter is there's been a lot of uh, missing monies and embezzling and a lot of things taking place the documents and facts are in place so uh, we're protesting and uh, the water compact is coming up and they want to sell out our water we're losing land every day and uh, the ten million dollars that was supposed to be paid out to the people, they can't account for it. When we asked them in a meeting what uh, happened to it, Mr. Uh, Chairman Sharp could not answer it. So uh, there was supposed to be a payment paid out before the Kalispell Fair on Tuesday, but that had not taken place as of yet. So there's a lot of things that are going on that. Uh, and we call for the removal of those five I mentioned because of the uh, allegations that they have did. And your name is? My name is George Captain. I'm a uh, uh, advocate for uh, civil rights. I've been at this for the last uh, 30 some years. And uh, like I told the BIA police, I don't take on personal vendettas, but when rights are violated, I will. Take and approach the council.